Hi, so in this particular video we're going to be talking about division of numbers using standard form. Okay, so in the previous two videos we talked about how to write numbers in standard form and how to multiply numbers. This particular video we're going to be looking at these type of questions where we might get something like this. It's 4.8 times 10 to the power of 8 and that's divided by 2 times 10 to the power of 3. Okay, so if you remember from the multiplication video, what I suggested is that you put the two parts together where it's dealing with the actual numbers, and then the parts that are dealing with the standard form element, you treat separately. Okay, so I'm going to do exactly the same here. I need to create a number which is in standard form format, but firstly I need to deal with this 4.8 divided by 2, so I'm going to put those two together. So I'm going to put 4.8 and that's divided by 2. Now my standard form part of it is written as times 10 to the power of 8 and this is divided by 10 to the power of 3. So what I'm doing is I'm dealing with the numbers and then I'm dealing with the standard form element of it. Uh, so don't get too confused by this multiplication in the middle because that's just how we write the standard form. Okay, so 4.8 divided by 2 is 2.4. Okay, and that's multiplied by 10 to the power of 8 divided by 10 to the power of 3. Well, the laws of indices, which there are videos on this particular channel about, you subtract these two numbers at the top, so that becomes 10 to the power of 5. Is that good enough for your two marks? Absolutely, because it's been written as standard form where the first number is between 1 and 10. That would be fine for that particular question. Let's try another one, which is a very similar sort of idea. And this is 1.2 times 10 to the power of 18. And that's going to be divided by 2 times 10 to the power of 2. OK, so we'll do exactly the same process where we'll take the two numbers that we're dividing together and then we're going to treat the standard form element of it differently. OK, so 1.2 divided by 2 I'm going to put into a bracket. And that's going to be, now I'm going to multiply because that's just the way we write it. Please don't be confused by that because the um, standard form element of it is going to be this division at the end. And I almost wrote it as a multiplication again. I don't know whether I'll be able to edit that, that out of the video, but eh, we'll try. Okay, <laughs> all right, so 1.2 divided by 2 is 0.6. And then the standard form part of it is 10 to the power of 18 divided by 10 to the power of 2. Well, I'm going to subtract my indices to 10 to the power of 16. Is that good enough? No. <laughs> OK, that's uh, one mark out of two marks. You need to just make sure you change this and put it into standard form where the first number is between 1 and 10. So I would write that as 6 now. What I've got here is, if you like, I've got 0 0.6 with 16 zeros after. So if you want, I've got 0 0.6, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, all the way out of 16 different zeros. Well, I actually need to move my decimal point one place in this direction. OK, well, if I move it in this direction, this number reduces. So it becomes 6 times 10 to the power of 50. OK, I um, hope that's OK for you. If you need to go back and have a look at how to write numbers in standard form, then that should give you some indication of what we've actually done there. But that would be how to divide numbers in standard form. I hope it's been useful to you. Uh, please do like, comment, subscribe to the site, and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.